right now I see that Lindsay Lohan is going through a bit of a career renaissance, not because she's getting like fantastic movie roles or anything, but really just because she looks incredible. And she seems to be weirdly aging in reverse. There was a period of time back in the aughts, the 2010s, where she really was spiraling. Uh, and now that she has gotten sober, started a family, you know, is in a happy relationship, and is merely taking acting roles that she feels good about, mm -hmm. she looks better. She is glowing from the inside. Mm -hmm. She looks younger than she has in many years. She was looking really rough for a significant period of time there, especially me, in the 2010s. I mean, me and her kind of like, we you're, were you're rough B-Day twins. We're birthday twins and we, so were it's both, good luck. and we were both, you know, in a rough patch around the same time. So, you know. You're, you're kind of soul sisters. We, we kind, yeah, we <laughs> kind of uh, fell on the same timeline. I want to show some photos to just compare. Here she is at 18 in 2004. And then 2014 is kind of after things got bad. She doesn't look really good in that photo. And then here is her now. What? Okay. What's going on? I'm going to be honest. She's 38 years old and this is what she looks like now. I'm going to be honest. Like if I look at these two photos, this very easily to me, and I, I, I understand that it's real and there's not a filter on there, mm -hmm. but even the plastic surgery makes her look like somebody put a filter over the top of her face. I'm not even saying it's bad, <laughs> but this just looks like a filter over the top oh, yeah. of this. Even the plastic surgery has plastic surgery. Yes. <laughs> like I'm not going to deny for a second that this is unnatural. For sure. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see some serious work was done, but thankfully she still looks like herself. Um, there were some other before photos that more. showed how, how just how extreme I mean, she, this that, transformation this was. This is just the same problem that Rachel Zegler has in Snow White. It's the hair. The hell is that hair? But you can see the difference in her skin tone, everything, the quality of her skin, the amount of fillers that she had to get dissolved as well in her mm -hmm. lips. She went way overboard with those. Um, she had sun damage on her skin that was visible back then. Um, there was also, she got a totally unnecessary rhinoplasty in her 20s. I did like this post from KFC Barstool. He says, Lindsay Lohan's doctor is the goat. Barry Bonds in 2004. Jim Carrey in 1994. Jordan, 90 to 91. LeBron, 08 to 09. And DMX in 1998. Oh, in 2007, Tom Brady. So how much of this do you think is plastic surgery and how much of this do you think is how much she changed her, her lifestyle? You know? I, think, I think those go hand in hand. I think you have to do both. It's like when they talk about like, you can't get abs just by doing a lot of crunches and working out. It's what you eat too. Like 80% yeah. what you eat, 20% work. Or what's, what's the saying? They say uh, abs start, start at the dinner table and end with leg day. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's, what's, that's what matters. So look, you can't just look for the doctor option. You have to put in the work as well. Yeah, I saw a post kind of explaining how deeply involved this process must be. They said this is very real and costs between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars, depending on how much damage has been done from previous surgeries and treatments or age. The plastic surgeon who do the the plastic surgeon who does this surgery is based in New York and is an expert in doing quote everything at once. Instead of a regular facelift, they go through and lift every part of the face individually, which stops the face from looking pulled and instead relocates skin, tissue, and fat to where they were originally. When the face is still, it looks pretty natural. When it moves, it just looks Botoxed. Unless you saw the before and afters, you would never guess how extreme the surgery was. My this isn't skincare, lasers, facials, or treatments. It's extreme and expensive surgery. Don't let these people sell you products that, quote, made them look younger. So now she's going to get like a brand deal with some skincare brand and everyone's going to be like, oh, this is what made Lindsay Lohan age in reverse by 20 years. Just, just <laughs> now, if, if she sells like... Um you know, if she's doing something with like something changing her diet, right? Like this is the stuff that I eat, even mm -hmm. if <laughs> that I would buy. That's that seems less manipulative than some skincare brand. A lot of people who are more willing to give her credit are saying 
this is actually the result of her not doing drugs anymore, not drinking anymore, not having this, mm -hmm. you know, extremely tumultuous private life anymore. She has settled down and gotten into a relationship with a man she loves. She has had a child with him at this point. She's completely changed her lifestyle. Yeah. It, the, way, the person she was, you know, getting arrested all the time and having court dates, like it was Amanda Bynes. Yeah. Yeah, she could have easily gone the other she way. She could have easily ended up being Amanda Bynes. I'm going to need to call her. It's good her. to see that she didn't. Can you get me the number for her plastic surgeon? Because me and her are the same age. Do you like, do you want to get the I'm everything gonna, lift? I'm going to need to get the everything lift so I don't have to look my age anymore. That's what I'm looking to do. <laughs> You're going to have like the fox eyes. Yeah. Uh, everything. Just pull just everything pulled. up and down at the same time. You're never going to smile again. <laughs> Hey, that that could be a good reason. It's like maybe people who don't smile look younger <laughs> longer because they don't have frown or they don't have smile lines, but they don't frown either. People who are stoic should look younger forever because they don't have frown lines or smile lines. One person said her transformation is wild, very beautiful, but nothing like the real Lindsay. She got an entirely new face. We live in scary times. It's okay to accept ourselves as we are. We can't run away from nature forever. Even her new face will eventually age. I only disagree with this take because the only reason she looked so bad in the first place is because she was mistreating her body. Mm -hmm. This is the way that she was aging in her late 20s and early 30s is not normal at all. It was rapid paced and she looked terrible because of the way she was treating herself. Once she fixed those problems, yeah. I can't blame her for wanting to turn back time. Most people don't age like, you know, at rapid pace as soon as they turn 27. Like, I, did, that's no, not... I did like the example, who was it that said like, is it, aging isn't like every year you look incrementally a little bit older. It's like you look the same for four years and on the fifth year you age all five years. Is that what you've once. experienced personally? Um, look, I... For me, like at 38, I felt like um, I looked worse like earlier, like years before because of the drugs and stuff like that. But that, you know, that's because you're not like you're you're way too thin. Your face is gaunt. Now you look I look at it. I'm like, wow, you were so thin. But the point is, is like you, you look haggard because you're not sleeping the right amount. You're not eating the right stuff and stuff like that. To be fair, I'm not eating the right stuff now either fair but i do sleep better than i used to and maybe even just having the confidence of knowing that you're taking care of yourself at least a little bit better goes a long way in your appearance but i mean depending on the day i, I feel exactly my age and most of the time i don't most of the time i feel younger than i, I don't feel like i'm getting close to 40 mm -hmm. but you know looking close to 40 and being close and feeling close to 40 aren't the same thing if i had to choose between the two i'd choose feeling like i'm younger than i am Rather right, than yeah. looking like younger than I am. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.